Yeah, baby. Hey, Jim. Well, we're here waiting for Tropical Storm Nicole to fully arrive, and it's starting to get here. And I figured I'd give you the last uh, update on my barrel stove project. You can see behind me, the beautiful uh, Giving Tree Honda has turned into a uh, wood stove supply storage shed. It's keeping my firewood dry. Let's have a look at the finished product. I've been burning it uh, every day and extra hot to try to burn off any uh, weird paint coatings or anything like that because I added some uh, heat shields to it that you'll see in a minute. And you see behind me here the Mr. Rusty Honda Man that got wrecked in the last storm, Ian, thank you, has been fixed. And now you can see that he is inside where he's a little safer and now he's just a really complex incense burner but onto the stove you see i don't really need it today the time is wrong the date is wrong sorry didn't reset it uh but it's 73 inside it's 59 outside and oh there's my buddy mikey yeah that's where he's probably 22. always liked boats he and i went to catalina and went sailing a lot and he just got a really nice center cockpit uh hunter uh no a morgan a center cockpit morgan sailboat so i'm a little jealous might have to go to california to help him play with that well there's my beautiful stove in action you may immediately notice that it looks like there's a fender that would be correct this fender is now fending off some of the heat it's acting as a heat shield there's airflow that comes up underneath and it stops the heat from reflecting really badly on this stuff here. And it, it adds a surface area, so it helps, I think, to project more heat into the air. And just for fun, I cut this center section out of the... These are, all, of course, off the old Honda. So I cut, uh, I cut some of the middle section out of this and did a, a rat rod weld job putting it back together and then over here we have the BMW shift knob that controls our secondary burn air and then we have the old Honda shift knob that controls our main air and you'll see back here that I did all that with four inch duct work that goes to outside and to make the valves in the duct I went inside and my beautiful wife Shannon had a large can of crushed tomatoes that was the perfect size so I cut it open and took the lids off both ends and then we had a lovely pasta dish that night thank you honey so those lids work perfectly as the valve inside my four inch pipe here so they're connected to a little lever system that I made out of just welding rod and you can see some of the upper one here and it's pretty simple if you want to open the main air valve push it all the way in if you want to close the main air valve you pull it out until this touches this one operates in the opposite direction but most of the time you just leave this one fully open and it stays cool this stove has been on for like six hours now and you see the chimney temperature is uh, right where you want it to be, right in the middle. What we have is, I look at this kind of like, this is an engine. Oh, sorry about my shadow. Anyway, this is like an engine, and the temperature gauge on the chimney is like the tachometer. So the ideal range is in the yellow. And sometimes uh, it gets up into the red, then you have to turn down your air a little bit but you'll see well let me first show you what my exhaust out of the chimney looks like come on focus on it there we go you can see I'm getting quite a bit of uh, you can see heat waves but very little in the way of smoke so it's burning very very efficiently so far I've been adding about one of these logs an hour uh, I have my uh, teapot up here where it's a nice boiler 
which adds a little humidity because the fireplace definitely takes the humidity down and just for fun and it also does add a little bit of uh, surface area I put a hood ornament I think that's off of a like a 55 Chevy Bel Air maybe or something like that I got it at a flea market so anyway let's have a look inside and see just how beautifully this thing goes oh and uh, I don't really use the spring thing that came with the kit I've used a fork here that it's two forks uh, one fork handle that goes through the back hole here and then this other fork I just bent the tines to hold on here and it slides around a little bit but it never gets warm you can see this thing's been on cranking away for hours and the fork is not hot there we go you might also have noticed that uh, our clean out shovel is right here it's one I had in my truck already I added the hook for it and I ground the tip off a little square so it would be a little easier on my bricks and then I added some hooks here for my extra long uh, fireplace tool because this this thing is long so you need to be able to reach all the way into the back and it just works really good I'm amazed okay that's how I'm gonna heat the shop this winter oh so we'll have to see what happens with Nicole it's been pretty windy and uh, we didn't get hit too hard by the last one except for my friend Rusty here got hit but everything else is pretty good but this one seems to be already coming in with a lot more oh. Thanks for watching!